I want to emphasize again how important it is not to stress the kids out doing these activities. It should be fun. And we can think of creative ways to encourage them to do them properly. For instance, we might say, that was such a good job you just did. It looks like you're ready for a challenge. This time, see if you can, and then indicate the thing that you were hoping to see in the first place. Make it a challenge, and then let it go. Talk about it the next time, don't harp on it. That particularly comes into play with these activities. I want to do a series of zoo exercises, as they're known. They're animal crawls. And these, again, are fabulous for waking up the brain and uh, helping with integration as both sides of the brains have to work together and um, sync in order to do this properly. We have a number of activities that we like to do, and I want to give you both a front view and a side view as I do them. This activity is called lizard. And the student starts with their belly on the floor, or as I like to say, their lizard belly on the nice warm rocks. And they should have their socks off so that their lizard toes can dig into the rocks. That's very important. Their open arms are going to reach forward. Now I'm going to do that sideways. So you can see my foot is coming up and those toes are pressing into the ground. With this exercise, you may have a child who doesn't engage their toes or their feet. They're not pressing into the ground. What I like to do is say, good job, I'm gonna give you a challenge. This time, I want you to push off the rock and I'll put my hand there or my foot there for them to push off of And When they get that, that physical experience of that tangible experience of feeling that hand or that foot to actually push off of, it helps them later just use the carpet. In that same series is the tadpole. Now the tadpole doesn't have any arm, just legs. And so the tadpole has to use their legs and their shoulders. I'm not the best example of this right now just because I'm still in recovery from the knee surgery, but it's getting better. Finally, we have the fish. And if you saw the earlier video with the burrito wrap, you know that the fish wiggle is essential to the getting out of the burrito wrap. So again, fish don't have legs or arms. The kindergartners really like it if they can get a treat at the end of each of these. So we have imaginary treats. Uh, lizards get flies. Fish get mosquitoes. And tadpoles get bugs or something. And I just have an imaginary bucket of them and I give it to them at the end. 